Dr. Mahajan, there are cases of infertility which are on rise, mainly in corporate sector we are seeing because of uh, increasing number of uh, double income no kid couples. Uh, the main reason that people find out uh, in later stages is ovarian cyst or polycystic ovaries. So, may I ask you what are the symptoms for these kind of conditions and what is the treatment that you generally suggest to your patients? They are actually two different things polycystic ovaries and ovarian cysts. Though usually people tend to confuse between the two and clump them together. Polycystic ovaries are seen in, um, we are finding polycystic ovaries in up to 20% of the population actually. And it is something which is linked to our uh, uh, lifestyle issues nowadays. With sedentary lifestyle and increasing weight amongst the individuals, we have seen a flare-up of polycystic uh, ovarian pattern amongst women. In polycystic ovaries, there is, a, there is a hormonal imbalance. In polycystic ovaries, many women have anovulation. Anovulation means they are not able to produce eggs. Uh, normally, in a woman, uh, the one, one egg is produced in the middle part of the cycle. And if the pregnancy does not result as fertilization of an egg, the woman has a menstruation. But if there is a disturbance in um, egg production mechanism, which is often seen in women with polycystic ovaries, the periods either get delayed or they do not get periods for long periods of time. So women with polycystic ovaries normally present to the gynae outpatient clinics with complaints of either delayed periods or absent menstrual cycles or difficulty with conceiving because they are not having egg production mechanism functioning normally and they need help because of this the other subgroup of women who have ovarian cysts is uh, different in their profile anybody can get an ovarian cyst Ovarian cyst is basically fluid collection uh, in, in the ovaries and uh, in some cases the cyst formation in the ovaries is related to egg production and over a period of time the body takes care of these cysts and they do not need any further treatment apart from observation for possibly one or two months. The other type of cyst formation in the ovary is some form of tumor or cancer. And these are the ones which do not go away, which grow over a period of time, which may put pressure on the ovaries and uh, would require uh, treatment. The common reasons for ovarian cyst formation in young women, as I said, is either something related to egg production mechanism, and these cysts are called follicular cysts or corpus luteum cysts. The tumors which are seen in younger population are generally benign tumors and they are called cyst adenomas and there are different varieties of these tumors but they all would need some form of operative management. The other form of ovarian cyst which is often seen in younger population is called endometriosis in which lining of the uterus is found outside the uterus on the ovaries and leads to blood collection cyst formations on the ovaries. They also present with, um, the women with endometriosis may also present with pelvic pain, um, painful periods, difficulty in conceiving and uh, would need some form of operative intervention to enhance their fertility and to remove the cysts. So some of the commoner cysts in younger population then are dermoid cysts, cyst adenomas and endometriotic cysts apart from the egg production cysts that we have talked about. Polycystic pattern in the ovaries which was related, uh, which causes uh, anovulation or absent egg production or infrequent egg production does not need normally surgical management. It can be managed with medication and the ovaries can be prompted to resume egg production and they can have children uh, after undergoing fertility treatment with the gynecologists. All other forms of ovarian cysts which are tumors or endometriotic in origin would need some form of surgical.